That's looking slow heading up towards the Middleton Road Junction. And then very busy around Ipswich as well. Crown Street in particular is looking slow moving westbound this afternoon, heading up towards Civic Drive. Uh, still fairly busy along Star Lane in the one-way system as well, heading towards Grimwade Street. There are no reports of any problems on the trains, and that's the latest from BBC Radio Suffolk Travel. Check for updates before you travel at bbc.co.uk slash Suffolk. Nine to four. Now, we always say, do give us a ring if there's something you want to chat about on the programme. And uh, Richard Turner's just done that. It's the start of Parkinson's week. And uh, Richard feels that because the disease isn't well known and uh, people don't know lots about it, he has it and he'd love to talk about it. So we thought, well, let's have a chat. Hi, Richard. Hello, Lizzie. Uh, so thank you for doing this. Um, I mean, I wasn't aware that it's at Parkinson's Awareness Week, but there are quite a lot of awareness days left, right and centre, aren't there? Yeah. So, so, so tell me, uh, first of all, about Parkinson's and what the condition is. Well, the Parkinson's uh, is a very nasty um, illness to have. It disguises itself, and people think you're OK when, in fact, you're, you're not. It attacks you in many, many ways, and it's, it's caused by uh, a chemical in the brain, a uh, uh, lack of it, it's got something called dopamine, which you probably know anyway, and that, which sends information to the limbs, the muscles, and every part of your body. And there are, there are many people with Parkinson's, and it's likely that before they're diagnosed, um, they're suffering from it anyway. And, uh, you know, that, that, that's the situation. It affects people in many, many ways. And from, from I mean, you can hear my voice. I, I'm just, my voice box has gone for, for walkies. This and is, my head is nodding like a nodding donkey. I was going to say is that uh, the thing a lot of people recognise it is when you, because you can get the shakes, can't you, your body well, sort of just... Well, I had a wonderful experience with that, and without boring you too much, I, 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 I was diagnosed, say, four or five years ago. And um, it, uh, when I first got it, I thought, well, I can live with this, it's nothing. But it gradually got worse and worse. And that my hands started shaking. And one of the things that helps you diagnose um, Parkinson is that you, your handwriting becomes a straight line. Well, I, this, is, this is strange, really, but um, I, I, I used to play in a band years ago, and uh, I started playing guitar every day and singing every day, and I stopped the shaking of my hands, and my voice is reasonably good. I used to stutter and stammer like you've never heard, now that's just one aspect that I've managed to put right, but now there are other problems cropping up where walking is very, very difficult, and swallowing and choking and uh, tripling and, you know, I could go on and on name a hundred things. How, how, how do you, you feel that a lot of people don't know? Do you, I mean, do you find people don't understand or, I do. or and do, do you, is it a difficult thing when you go out? It's, it's very difficult. I mean, I went for a meal on Saturday and the man sat there watching my every mouthful to the point where I became, I mean, I had difficulty putting the food in my mouth. And I'm, not, I'm not chronic, but, you know, it's difficult for me to open my mouth to put the food in. And lots of people like that, they just don't seem to, um, well, whether it's manners or not, I don't know, but they, they, they think you're something from a sideshow. It, and... and uh... Does it stop you doing a lot of things you used to do? Well, it's just um, communication sometimes a bit difficult. Um, uh, constant pain, you have to deal with that. And the main problem is that is that with awareness from people, if you say you've got Parkinson's, there are very few people who know much about it or what you're going through. They treat it as sometimes, with respect, they, they treat it as if you've got a cold or... It's not as important to them as some of the other things. Not that we're looking for sympathy or anything, uh, but it'd be nice to, for people to understand what this is really about. And, um, you know, this, the Parkinson's Awareness Week goes on until the uh, 13th, and there's lots of events going on, so I gather. Now, I'm, I'm speaking to you as an individual, not a member of uh, any body or anything. I'm a member of the Parkinson's UK thing, but... Um, you know, I just thought I'd like to talk to you about Parkinson's. Well, I'm glad you did, and, and you've been able to at least say your bit, and hopefully people listening maybe will think differently about it. Well, exactly, and one of the little slogans that cropped up, I'm just looking at the book from Parkinson's now, and it says, 
the campaign message is um, Parkinson's takes away control. Your understanding can give some back. And that's quite true. Perhaps we ought to get you as a guest on the sofa. I would love that. I was only thinking of that before we spoke. Because I've, I've got a lot to tell. And I've got to... I mean, music is a great part of my life. I mean, I've got 500 songs on YouTube that have been designed to help me with my Parkinson's. And it's just succeeded. And uh, I've got a lot to tell. I've got, I've got a lot of people I can help. But, you know, there are people that need to understand what this is about. I'm a layman. But I've got some very good friends in, you know, the professionals. The nurse who looks after me is fantastic, as are all the other people. Well, and there's plenty going on to help the Parkinson's sufferers. Well, well, thank you for getting in touch. We've got your number. Uh, it won't probably be today, but we'll get back in touch with you one day this well, week. I'm very grateful. Pop you in, Richard. Yeah, but we'll get, we'll plump up the cushions, get you a cup of tea, and get you as a guest on the sofa. Let okay? me tell you one quick thing. I'll tell you quickly. My right. head nodded. I went to an auction last week. And my head nodding was rife. And I came away and put a wardrobe washstand in <laughs> <laughs> the chest of drawers. I don't the believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for ringing us. Bye bye. The Intouch Bye Bye by Richard Turner. <laughs> Gave us a, obviously has a lost his sense of humour. Right. So and and thank you, Richard, because we say that. Don't you? Give us mm -hmm. a ring if you've got something you want to chat about. And he said it's the beginning of Parkinson's Awareness Week, and I want to talk about it. So brilliant, he did, and we'll get him in as a guest. It won't be Awareness Week by then because we're quite no, we are. Months, but been, and he doesn't need to be Awareness Week. So we'll get Richard as a guest mm -hmm. on the programme in a few weeks' time. And thank you to him for giving us a ring. Uh, what have we got tomorrow, Tuesday? Uh, tomorrow we're talking to the Ipswich Choral Society.